Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Passion. Welcome to Home Garden and Passion. First of all, I would like to thank all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about this beautiful belt. This beautiful fabric belt I have created for the jeans pant. Now this is a beautiful fabric belt to give a little life to the jeans pen now this is the jeans pen which i might decorate later but right now i just created this belt and this is how it's gonna go you start putting the belt from here like this and i will show you how i created the belt it's very easy 100% hand stitch and hand decorated you do not need a machine and this is gonna be few video series to learn stitching basic stitching with home garden and fashion and for the people who do not know stitching and want to learn stitching I will show how to do basic stitches hand by hand and it's all uh, in few video series I will do well let's say in several video series so this is how you're going to put uh, this um, belt to these jeans and it will make the jeans look pretty it will give life to the dull jeans so like this like this now you see This is really just a simple jeans, but this belt will add color and light to it. So you just twist it, fix it. This belt I have made a little bit wider so that you can wear this not only with your jeans, you can wear it with the other dresses too so this is the belt and it really looks beautiful with the belt see this is just a simple jeans and it really looks beautiful with the belt so we're going to create one belt in this program and that way you learn how to do a belt so let's get started with this I have, I have uploaded a video on pin cushion and this is another one I made which is a needle cushion because I always need to keep many of the needles uploaded with the thread and this has been doing a great job in doing that. So, I got that and I gather my supplies. Now on that I have used this uh, golden sequence on the blue belt but this blue belt i will be using this sequence uh, the blue sequence because i have created a black blouse which i will upload soon with this blue sequence so the black blouse will be with that blue jeans so that way they will look good together because this blue jeans will have a belt with this blue sequence i have created this belt too out of the sequin fabric this is for another jeans which is created the same way these belts are very simple to create so let's create one belt first of all you need to just get a piece of fabric and then you get about 8 inches or 4 inches depending on how wide the belt you want this one we're doing about 8 inches and you have to double fold so if you're doing eight inches so you're gonna have a four inch belt because you have to double fold and if you're doing four inches then you're gonna have a thin two inch belt so it's up to you whatever you prefer now I'm going to make sure that this is lined up right and then I will show you the stitches on all the sides so first you get your fabric and then cut it at a similar 
make sure they're all lined up right because when I cut it from a big fabric it wasn't lined up right so I have little excess and just getting rid of the excess so still some sort of design has come because it wasn't very so that's why I choose to make it little bit more because you don't know when it's gonna be like not even and you have to continue doing that until you get an even edge not that even if you didn't get an even edge it won't look good because just a belt but still it's better to get have an even edge now i hope this one will do the trick I folded too many times so it's a little bit hard to cut but we're almost there now after this I'll show you how we're gonna do the stitching we're gonna do the entire stitching hand stitch we're hand stitching this entire belt okay now we're done with the cutting that pretty much looks same now we're gonna hand stitch this so what you do is you reverse this other side. So we're going to stitch first this side. Then we're going to stitch this all this side. But these two sides we were not going to join. We're just going to stitch the sides. So in the reverse side you fold it and stitch. Now I'm going to show you stitching is really simple and fun and it's very fun you can do so many things so this is gonna be one of those video series which will come in several series now stitch with home garden and fashion and learn basic stitching so we have our needle and we have the fabric folded twice now we put the needle here and the needle comes out like this now this stitch you can do simple running or hem hem looks prettier so to do the hem you have to take your needles and first put at the bottom one and then you go and pick up the top one bending the needle so first pick up the bottom one bending the needle pick up the top one this is called hem so we're going to do it. now once you get used to doing it you can do like this pick up once bend your needle pick up the bottom and then the top come out do twice you can do two times or three times that is after you become little bit experienced in it but once you're doing your stitching the very first time you're learning, it's better to do just one time. So you pick up the bottom fabric, bend your needles, pick up the top fabric, come out bending your needles. This is the hem stitch, very simple, basic stitch. Now sides, when we do, I'm going to show you the running stitch. We're going to do two, three projects together until you feel comfortable with stitching stitching is far more better than gluing if i have a choice i would not glue anything but now glue becomes so popular but stitching is very fun so now like this we came like this This is the hemming, go down, pick up, and come out. Now you see how beautiful hemming coming, and from the back you can see very little. You can even see smaller than this if you pay attention, and when you're picking up, you pick up very little, like this. You First you put it down, and then you make sure you fold it right, and then you hold tight with your other hand 
and then you go down and pick up very little then you have a very little visible on the other side see you could barely see this is the perfect hem with perfect hem you could barely see it on the other side that's the perfect hem so you pick up little bit from the bottom and pick up very little from the top and come out and that's your perfect hem and there you see tiny little bit in the back this is called hem now we are almost done with it and then I will show you the running stitch if you want to do very perfect hem then you have to pick up only one time not two time because you need to be very careful with it to make a perfect hem usually mm, the tailors the tailors used to do this hem and they did it on salwar kameej and lehenga choli very perfect hem after they stitched it and it used to be really perfect so this is how we're locking the end so that portion is done now we're going to reverse it do from inside see we reverse it so you have your wrong side wrong side we're gonna hold it like this and then we give a running stitch to this entire side now show you the running stitch my this needle cushion is working out really great next video i will show you the needle cushion i have done the pin cushion and this is a needle cushion this is very big almost like a pillow and this is a needle cushion it's really coming handy to keep all my needles and it's pretty much doing the job it's not tangling the thread so far so now i'm just gonna show you how to do a simple basic running stitch to do that you take your thread and the needle you make a knot at the end then you go to this dog both the fabric and then you come out like this now you go again and then you come out here we are not worrying about how big or little the stitch is here we are just worrying about just stitching these two fabric this is called basic running stitch this doesn't have anything fancy so you see it's very simple you just go inside like this you hold your fabric come out go inside like this hold your fabric come out this is very simple so you give a simple running stitch to this entire length of the belt like this so like this you can pick up many times and then you pull out all your threads together sometimes this way it's kind of get like mm, ruffled and you just have to fix it unless you want to be ruffled then it's good otherwise you just fix it now after I created this belt after this belt is you can wash it dry it in the dryer or hang dry it and iron it iron in the back of it do not iron on the top of the design iron on the back i just know i iron it and it's really good if you iron in the back iron it on a silk setting lightly iron so now hold it together and go like this like this so you see this is very easy stitching is very very easy and fun like this so we done quite a bit as it's getting tangled a little bit sometimes it might get tangled don't panic just pull it and it will come just be gentle with it and now we're almost there like this now I'm going to turn the camera off and finish this one quickly and then I will show you the decoration. So by now hopefully you learn the running stitch. It's not hard. It's very easy. See your thread and needle. You go down 
put the fabric both of them together go down and pick up go down and pick up go down and pick up several times and then you pull out your needle that's your basic running stitch now I'm going to turn the camera off and then stitch the whole thing and come back in a few seconds So now I have stitched this side, the hemming both the side and stitch gave a simple running stitch to the entire length of this fabric. After I did that, now what I have to do is I have to go inside and bring this fabric inside out like this. Bring it inside out like this. And have to do the entire fabric inside out. Push it out like this and both the sides you have kept open. Both the sides have to be open. Both the sides have to be folded, stitched and open. Now once you get it out in the reverse side then you have to take it to the iron and iron it nicely at the silk setting if it's silk and if it's cotton you do it the cotton setting this one is I'll do it silk setting because it's silk so now I turn it upside down entire belt now I will take this to the iron, iron and come back so I have ironed it. Now we're going to decorate it. Okay. Now the, we're going to decorate with this blue sequence. So we will need only blue sequence. So the supplies we're going to be using this glitter dimensional fabric paint the tool to push down the sequence and our blue sequence this blue sequence and a ruler to measure and you will also need a chalk A chalk to draw. So what I have done with that is first I started a dot. Now once you've done the design you have to leave it like this for two hours and after it dried you can iron to the back side of the design not on directly to the design. So we have used a dot and every two inches you give a dot every two inches or you could just eyeball and do the dot so either one you can use the ruler and a chalk or you can eyeball and do it so it's up to you I will just go ahead and eyeball and do it so let's do the design now we're using chalk because it's easy to clean up once you're done it'll be very easy first we are doing a little bit farther not so close and then if you think you want to put close you can do it and you keep in a little container your sequence and then you do it that way is faster so like this you continue now you can put as many rows as you want since these are little sequins I would go ahead and put three rows one one in the middle another one on the side but the other one I put only two rows because those are big sequins but these are tiny little sequins so you would eyeball it to two inch apart or you can just make marks and you can give three rows it's up to you you can give two rows or you can give three rows whatever you prefer so now 
since these sequins are tiny little sequins you really don't need so much of the of this um, uh, glitter glue paint and this is sequences are tiny little now there's too many sequences coming up you see at one time now this uh, will be with this black blouse I have decorated with blue sequins and I will upload that one soon so this blue jeans will really look pretty with this belt so this is how you're gonna do the entire here we have, I think, I believe we have three stuck together. So this is how you're going to go on and fill up the entire row. Now we're going to do this last row over here and the middle up to there to just to show you. So it's every two inches you give your sequence. Now, with the chalk, if it gets a mistake or something, it's okay. You wipe it off with wet paper towel. And if you want to um, make changes in the entire design, then you just wash it off. But right now, you can just wipe it off with the wet paper towel. And it will go away easy. So, we're going to do this side. This, my paint is finishing up. I've been working with it a lot. And I have this gorgeous Jardosi Sari I have decorated, which is coming up well, either to, uh, tonight or tomorrow. It depends how long it will take to upload because um, this Sari decoration is about an hour. So it might take a long time to upload. I'll see. I think I have one here. Sometimes the two get stuck. So you do your second row and you see if you feel like you want to add another one in the middle, it's up to you. But this sequence really looks lovely. And we're going to decorate the blue jeans a little bit with the blue sequence in another video. So first we did the black shirt with the um, blue sequins and then we did the belt and now I might do the jeans in the pocket little bit decoration because this blue sequins looks so lovely I am so fascinated with the sequins that I can't tell you I could put sequins possibly on everything if I could really I could go ahead and put sequins on every single thing I see. I don't know. I have this extreme fascination with sequins and beads and trim. And I like to embellish everything with these. I think if anything doesn't have sequins and beads, I feel like, uh, oh, it's so simple or plain. It just doesn't have any design. Now here... What we have is we have three sequences. Oh my. We have three sequences. If you make a mistake, you add two or three, it's okay. Leave it, let it dry. You might as well pick it once it dried. So we done two sides. Now it's up to you if you want to give it.